Okay, welcome everyone. Let's we'll start our lesson with three. Thanks for joining everyone. So let's see. So today lesson will go through LO4, which is learning outcome four. Be able to communicate taxation information to all stakeholders. So today lesson will be focused on the stakeholders, communication and taxation. That's the key, you know, because we have to communicate the tax, the tax matters to HMRC and the various other stakeholders. So what is meant by stakeholders? Stakeholders mean anyone who has any interest in the business is a stakeholder. Even the stakeholders are, the generation will come after us is also stakeholders. We have to meet the expectation of everyone. If we, so we have to focus on sustainability. So business sustain. So we need to be focused on three P's, which is three P's consist of profit, planet, and people. Three is just the key which we need to be. And today lesson really focus will be on the stakeholders. So in the previous lesson, we discussed about popular people chat in offices. We had a discussion about competencies, capabilities, confidentiality, integrity, and parent subsidiary, associate, capital, gain tax, and we discuss about individual as well as businesses, corporation tax. So stakeholders can be include anyone who has any interest. It can be shareholders. Shareholders are the investors, are the stakeholders as well, but not all the stakeholders are the shareholders. So that's, you know, the key difference, Shareho shareholders and stakeholders to be, can be directors, managers. So they have different expectations. We'll try our best to meet their expectations. We can look around the model. It's called power and interest metrics of stakeholders where we can try to map and meet their expectation. We have to communicate about the taxation and all the information about the company's affairs. Uh, we can do via uh, emails, reports, letters, memorandum, and meeting notes, which carry on happening in company. And we look around various exemptions if we can make for the client. And of course, we had a discussion, whichever finance act you look, always look around the rates which we need to be so we can communicate what rates we are going to charge, are going to pay and our capital allowance, which we can give the details into our report, financial statements, and through financial reporting, we can also communicate to stakeholders. We have to submit the accounts to the company house. So of course, you know, we can communicate with the stakeholders and get all the information. Okay, so these are the rates we had a discussion in the previously, which we can look around. Okay. So so that's we had a discussion value added tax where a capital gain tax lower and higher residential properties and higher rates is 20%, lower rate is 10%, at 28%. And then we lifetime limits, rates of taxes, uh, class one, class two, and four, all insurance. So 4.1, which is our assessment criteria, communicate, advice, and information in appropriate format for all relevant stakeholders. So stakeholder analysis is the part of formulating organization strategy. What is meant by strategy? The word strategy is derived from the Greek word strategist, which we used to be in military, but is also known as an action plan. The word strategy mean action plan. So if you want to explore different strategies, there are portal generic strategies. Maybe you learned it before. Portal generic strategies in companies can be four major types of strategy. You can be a cost leader, our cost leadership, which is everything you do, focus on the cost, you can communicate always we're looking at savings. Second is the cost focus. Not all the things you're like Ryanair is the cost leader. They claim, you know, their strategy is based on the cost leaders, everything, all the rules. Uh, it's cheaper than the whole industry. The cost focus is the narrow, narrow strategy, which is mean, you know, one of your products is cheaper than 
uh, other is compared to the competitor. That's the narrow. So your one route is cheaper than other. So that you know can be known as cost lead, cost leader, cost focus as we just mentioned. Differentiation. You are totally different. Like you know Apple, iPhone, their software, their operating system. So that's the differentiation strategy. Then can be your strategy differentiation focus, which is. Which is really focus on one innovation, maybe your design, your operating system, but not all the function is different than competitors. So that can be different strategies, and we can use for even for communication. So when you, if you want to communicate effectively with your stakeholders, so always need to be look around. One thing uh, is called ADA principle, which is mean attention, interest, desired, and action. Always try to get the attention of your client. Try to create an interest, desired, and action which is cause positive communication to persuade them. Okay, so stakeholders, the group of individual who has interest, what is organization does, or an expectation of organization. It is important an organization understand the needs of different stakeholders. Important part of the strategic managers, which is we can look around the long term management. Prospective job to be understand, contribute the relationship with stakeholders, and can be made to well-being of the organization. Assessing the expectation of the stakeholders enable an organization to gauge whether the objective will be provide the meaning, satisfying the demands of and uh, demand the needs of the various stakeholders. Anyone, any question, please? If you have, feel free. You can ask. Huh? Any point you think if we need to for the demonstrate so you can. Okay, classification of the stakeholders can be broadly categorized into three group. It can be internal stakeholders within the company, connected stakeholders to the company, or external stakeholders to the company that can be government shareholders and imply these are example internal within me, within company connected to the organization, their objective are likely to be have a strong influence. So we can look around like employees, managers, these are the stakeholders, what their expectations, pay, working condition, job security. If the workers are to be given more responsibility, they will expect to increase the pay and the taxes and all you know the benefit of the car, the fuel and all you know these need to be communicated to the stakeholder. That's why the communication and the stakeholders is very important. So managers and the directors status pay, bonus, job security, that's really their expectation. If the growth is going to occur, the managers will want to be increase their profit, leading to the increase bonus. Okay. <clears throat> then we have a connected stakeholders can be the views as have a contractual relationship with the organization like a shareholder steadily flow in income yes yeah, possible capital growth and the continuation of the business is really that's the objective of the company the sustainability <clears throat> if the capital is required for the growth the shareholders will expect to is in the dividend stream and the customer satisfaction the customer needs to be achieved through the providing value for money, that's BFM, value for money, really we need to be focused. Okay, primary and secondary. Primary are the major stakeholders, that's the directly impact. And the secondary, the second, they have, you know, the second priority as a company. So some, their interest, you have a very powerful stakeholder, you give them more priority, those are your primary stakeholders, huh? like shareholders you want to be, because if you don't give them dividend, you can imply, yes, if you don't keep them happy, they move to or left the job and go any other organization. So you have to direct or indirectly the effect of, because, you know, like if you're, uh, if you pay more salary to the workers, then of course it's the impact on the shareholders as well, because they have a less money dividend. So you have to look around the impact direct, indirect as well, primary and secondary in those years. If further we'll go through. Okay, so any question you have, we can further go through. Okay, so suppliers, yes, paid promptly if the decision is made. 
So that's, you know, we have to make sure the cash flows happen because you have to satisfy your customer. But ultimately, if the customer not paying the money or you're not, you're not making the strategy towards, you know, cash sales more, then ultimately what will be happen? Less cash and ultimately impact on the suppliers. Huh? They will get the payment late. So that's all we need to be meet the expectation and the balance the expectation of the various stakeholders. Okay. External stakeholders include the government, local authority. This group will have a quite diverse objective and the variety and the ability to ensure the organization meet their objective. Community at large, the general public can be the stakeholders. Of course, this doesn't matter you buying, but the noise or the society grow is impact your interest to environmental pressure group. The organization does not harm the external environment. Yes, it's very crucial if we can look around airport, want to be built a new runway, the pressure group like uh, Terminal 4 and 5 in Heathrow Airport, that was a huge, you know, impact and how you have pressure groups here. Yeah. They a lot of opposed first place a goal government try to negotiate and meet their expectation as well. The company activities are central to the success of the economy and providing the jobs and paying the taxes. Huh? Trade union also stakeholders we are always very powerful uh, if we need to be meet their expectation. If we don't want to do it then of course you know it can create that. Okay, then the stakeholders in conflict. So you have to look around what those stakeholders, what are, because you know, it's very difficult, everyone, but like worker want more salaries, higher salaries, and the customer want cheaper product, and the supplier want quick payment. So you have a different expectation, everyone. So conflict is the need and the expectation of the stakeholders may conflict and some of the typical conflict can be employees versus managers, job wages versus bonus cost efficiency, customer versus shareholders, yes, product quality, service level, and more profit dividend, yes. If you give a high quality, the cost, and ultimately customer like to be lower price, and ultimately if you sell high, then of course maybe you're not meeting the expectation of your customer, you're meeting the expectation of the shareholder. You need a balance of those. Effect on the environment versus the profit and the manager versus the shareholder growth versus independence. That's all you know which we need to be look around their expectation and we need to be try to involve them regular communicate like we have a fracking in Hinchcliffe EDF electricity. They try to be set up the electricity by and the, the gas by fracking technologies, drilling, and ultimately what's happened, you know, the local stakeholder, local pressure group. So we should do involve them before actually we uh, under, uh, undertake the project or go ahead with the project. So you have to be involved them with the yours. So that's why we use the term think globally. Think globally. you know really we need to be so local culture yeah understand local stakeholders and then we can categorize resolving the conflict you have to i suggest the ways to resolve that satisfying involve the negotiation so you have a good negotiation strategy you have a persuasion skill of course a lot of skill Sequential attention, you need to be look around the shareholders need, the staff, and side payment, yes, stakeholders. Primary objective cannot be met. They are compensated in some other ways. The local community may be object to the new factory being built on the side. They will be the cause of the pollution, noise, or extra traffic. The firm concern may be continues to build the factory and try to be the communities and also build the local sport facilities like you know the local school community different projects should be satisfied their needs okay then we have an important it's called you know stakeholders power interest metrics which is we use the mission statement of the company should be designed and according to and that not conflict 
corporate governance, how to companies control and govern. We have a lot of, you know, Cadbury, uh, Sarbon and various other reports, you know, how well, because in the past, like Barclay Bank 2012, we paid two banks, two million profit to see of the company, but uh, no, even the Barclay Bank, not on the single penny profit in that year. So that's the huge, you know, the corporate governance issues, the remuneration committees and all. We need to be look around the transparency. That's the key, you know, the corporate ethics, yes, moral principle, working in the best interest of the, always good to be best interest of the wider public, reduce pollution, yes, work the local community project. Ultimately, that will be advertised and meeting the needs of the various stakeholders. Okay, so we can look around the stakeholders, primary accountability, shareholders, private limited company and public limited company, principal stakeholders, shareholders, yes, donors, grants, providers, regulations, general public services, and main method of monitoring financial statements can be government governance board and structure, non-executive members, executive members. Yes, so you have to be make sure transparency and well control system in place. Internal stakeholders, those are external, which is outside connected. Yes, those are connection with the company. So these are low price quality, high price assured demand and interest payment. So these are all, you know, different stakeholders, different expectations. So there is, if we look in, one second, I'll, I'll start with you and show you the sector of the book for it to choose the crown. So we have corporate governance, KCCA P1 paper used to be. So that you will see the ethics and corporate governance. If you Google search it, stakeholders and Kaplan, you will find the chapter of the book. Then you have various you know, stakeholder analysis models, classification direct versus indirect stakeholders. Yes, usually directly, indirectly, primary versus secondary stakeholders. Those have a direct effect on the company and with them would be difficult to operate the government, shareholders, and the customer. That's our primary, secondary. Those have a limited direct influence on organization. Without the company survive in the communities, management, Yes, so we can look at active versus progressive, voluntary versus. So these are different types of stakeholders, power interest metrics. So I can share with you if you want to explore more. So here, here are the links. Yeah, any question, please? If you, we can further explore. Okay, please, if anyone any question, you can ask. Yeah? Okay, note ex exemptions made and limitations to information provided to the stakeholders. Okay, so of course, we can look around AGM annual general meeting where we can provide the information to the all the stakeholders. If we have a, something very urgent, we can call it extraordinary general meeting, which is because you know that can be before. Uh, and we can issue quick notice to our stakeholders, those shareholders, those we want to be invited in the meeting, those have a directly matters involvement. So that's, you know, which we can look around and we can communicate with those, you know, quickly. Okay, effective communication, if we want to be, so we need to be look around attribute. We can look around uh, using appropriate format, observing the format, and different style and the lectures that need to be properly communicated. 
uh, technically terminologies all need to be explained clearly and clearly understand you know those people have a basic you know the knowledge they can understand what we are saying in accounting term are the taxation protecting and appropriate you know corporate images because the proper communication will help you know to achieve and achieving the purpose of communication which will need to be affected okay when we do please pass and kiss two approaches we can use it pass is mean purpose audience structure and style you adopt and kiss keep it short and simple your communication not overload of information but the key message should be the object of the message need to be passed presentation always need to be make sure when we communicate professionalism yes abilities needness that's you know demonstrating competencies corporate image reflect on the corporate because that's ultimately logo style colors scheme displays all the in your report as well in your communication you can use these uh, always we try to be more in the company uh, for formal communication use the grammatically sentence refer to the address title avoid some abbreviations you can long expression use the proper you know but it can be informal sometimes informal lunch or discussion where you are passing the information to the stakeholders internal which is main within and uh, we can look around the forms uh, yes we line managers and various other slide prompts and accurate message need to be method verbal telephone voicemail meetings yes yeah, written letters be you know the mode of communication we can use it too and then if you write the letters letter heads name addresses reference date these are the key point need to be keep in mind when we use and write the letters to communicate to the people yes yeah. So please that's you know we need to be follow complimentary flows your faithful your sincere nature name your job title yeah all these which department you are in that's you know it's good to be in the report formal of course you know we said reports if you want to be in a lot of reports we publish to the stakeholder like csr corporate social responsibility report CG corporate governance report, annual reports. These they're all you know we publish the public domain, and that's you know the people can and stakeholders can use it for different purposes. They can make the decision either to invest more, they can make the decision either to buy the goods from because you know it depends what your interest. So title summary, in introduction, finding conclusion, recommendation, appendices can be. informal title and date introduction finding conclusion and recommendation maybe we don't need a lot of appendixes but it can be in formal report okay then of course we can write the emails okay so guys this is quite crucial as a data protection act you know we should do bcc what is a bcc we all use bcc yes the blind carbon copy because other people can't see the other people's email addresses so if you copy cc then of course everyone's email can be shared and other people can see so always good approach can be bcc yes blind carbon copy other people can't see the other people so we can say to and we can all others people email we can copy into and they can get the information in the blind carbon copy okay <clears throat> then of course we can do fax yes header from to date fax numbers and all you know this need to be so notes yes informal written notes pass on the messages instruction name of the person sending the notes name of the person receiving and so on so that's you know which we can then we have 4.3 assessment criteria assess known taxation factor applicable to the individual stakeholder benefit communication play a vital role in respect of aspect of the organization operation we can look around any legislation we can pass the information to informal like flexible working hours nowadays in our organization safe pattern of course if you keep the good relationship with the stakeholders 
that will help you know to improve the productivity need good coordination good communication but please always when we do we can focus on seven c's so please always look around seven c's of communication yes complete message concise message yes correctness message consideration so these seven c's of effective communication is good to look around and when we communicate with various stakeholders Okay, so mass communication, of course, we can pass messages to be, think about Unilever, which is the company, 130 countries operation, they have to do mass communication with the various, of course, nowadays, we can use the digital, social media, internet, of course, nowadays, TikTok, depend to home, which stakeholders you want to pass the message, digital technology has to ensure everyone's kept in touch all the time, and digital media, you know, Spent geographical boundaries, of course, we can pass the message throughout the world through Twitter, through Facebook, through marketplace, and various internal communication that need to be more, uh, yes, within the company. Internal communication, we can be a dashboard, CRM, customer relationship management system, those we can use it to pass you know, the information within within the organization, of course, and teams and various other tools, we are using these and emails and database. Okay, review internal framework, conduct you know, the review, how the employees are currently receiving and sharing the information. Uh, yes, different channel of distribution, which channel is being used, and different type of communication, which we can look around effective. Effective communication always choose, always try to be, reduce the noise, which is mean hurdle, and use the local thing globally, act locally, we said, yeah, local cultures and sentiments and colors and the font need to be according. Select the right delivery channel, consider the pros and cons of different, yeah, either TV, radio, Facebook page, yeah, letters, emails, and the various others. We can use it according to the stakeholders, what sort of they have, and all these media channels for communication, we can use it effectively. Okay. Then we have which channels you will be depend on the range of the factors, the size, and the location of the organization. All, you know, some employees are office-based and some work remotely, so maybe if you want to, so maybe you can use teams, you know, the message of the meeting can be arranged, those a number of other tools, of course, Zoom, which we are using now, but a number of other tools, WebEx, uh, or Skype, or various other channels can be used, or VOIP, which is voice on internet protocol that can be used. Huh? Okay, alternatively, Mike, you know, the wish to take the information through the senior managers, Yes, changes affecting the specific individual will need to be like if any head of department, any product managers or country managers are joining or leaving should be clearly communicated. Communicate the mission, means, and the value of the company. So always every company have why they are in the business, where they want to see themselves, what value they have. So always keep in mind, you know, even now the within the company, hope you heard about the British value. Right? Yeah, those we need to be make sure we are aware embedded in our organization, and that's you know, we need to be look around to meet the stakeholders. Depends which country you are, you have to think globally and act locally. Be aware of the legal responsibilities, although the much of the communication internally will differ from the organization and other instance, yes. Yeah, Employer have a legal obligation to communicate and consult with the workforce. Yes, consultation implies the relationship. We have to think about the legislation, though the European Work Council is the sufficient implies request. You have to be listen them, you have to take on the board, ensure the consistent communication processes and procedures, those are in place. So that's really we need to be look around. Always that's why you know there is undercover boss. People are going at the workplace, the CEO of the company, hidden as they imply to understand where the gaps we have and better understand all the stake, operational level, strategic level, and departmental level, so we can communicate accordingly. Communication and the performance is quite linked together. When you pick the performance or you do a 
performance appraisal yes so appraisal checking the performance which we can use with 360 degree appraisal our performance is always looking and varying in term of uh, time cost and quality and the performance metric uh, the key performance indicator should be communicated with various stakeholders that's you know ultimately this helps you so be the image of the company meeting of course meeting is coming together yes of the people of particular purpose always keep the meeting minutes those can't attend it of course you know we can share meeting can be information sharing information gathering or problem solving meeting and that's why we'll carry on doing meeting why meeting of course you know these are help you know to gather some way the information gather the information any new product you want to be launched, any country you want to be in, uh, you're looking at the economic environment, you want to see and so you can involve to the various stakeholders. Of course, we have an AGM, but other than that, we can use other meetings and uh, we do monthly, weekly, daily, yes, depends. Yes, and then we have a little quiz at the end you can do for uh, effective communication yourself. And at the end, we showed you on trusting on. Okay, then we have all the possible links, please. It's quite a bit too for further reading. Okay, that's you know from my end. Anybody, any question, please? Uh, no, thank you. Thank you. So, focus on the seven C's effective communication. If you really want, there is a quite good book. In business, our business world is called Business Communication by Marty. Normally, we see MBAs and various other programs. It's quite good too. If you can find e copies online, such as well, which is published by Megara Hill, that's the quite biggest publisher. And there, you can use it if you want to. There can be a lot of scenario based questions. Okay, thanks for attending today's session. Hope you know a couple of you will speak to you tomorrow with our other session on corporate reporting. And other than that, otherwise we'll speak to you next week when we'll do assignment discussion. Thanks for attending. Thank you. Thank Have you goodbye. very much. Thank Bye. you. Have a lovely week. Same to you. You bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.